Welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we are back with another lore video. Today we'll be discussing some of the elite in the Skaven military. I'm of course talking about the Storm Vermin, so without further ado, let's begin. Storm Vermin are amongst the most elite of the Skaven forces. They are the Black Third Elite and are typically recruited from a young age. Like the Graciers, their future is determined at the time of their birth for only a Skaven with black fur are elevated to the ranks of the Storm Vermin. As such, there is a certain air of ego shared together by all Storm Vermin that is lacking in other Skaven groups. They are, to an individual, larger than the average Skaven, well muscled and proficient in use of various weapons and armor. During their recruitment and training, they receive better food, equipment and training creating superior warriors who are bigger, stronger, tougher and braver than the typical clan rat warriors. While clan rats carry spears, rotten shields and wear scraps of metal, storm vermin wield deadly halberds and wear heavy armor, specifically crafted for them. They are aggressive by nature and are given to overt displays of prowess in order to intimidate those around them. Storm vermin are constantly on the lookout for any weaknesses in their peers and those who show such flaws will be cut down by their brothers in an instant. Position in the rank of the Storm Vermin is achieved through the series of duels, though occasionally it falls on the last remaining survivor of a unit to take control. These officers are known as Fang Leaders and are some of the most deadliest Storm Vermin of all. Storm Vermin regiments are outfitted with the best spoils of war in the clan's armory and their duties may include forming a retune or a bodyguard for anyone, from a minor chieftain to the mighty ruling clan warlord himself. This puts the storm vermin at the vanguard of the army, where they can ensure continued preferential treatment by fighting with ferocity and zeal for their leaders. Most warlord clans maintain the unwritten law that the first feed after a battle belongs to the storm vermin. Those who dare to feast before their proper station are often openly attacked by the elite Skaven warriors who take any opportunity to violently demonstrate their favored status. As further reward, many Storm Vermin regiments are assigned their own legions of Skaven slaves. These lackeys see to the comfort and the needs of their masters. On the battlefield, the Storm Vermin normally form the bodyguard of warlords and graciers. The Skaven clan Rictus is known for breeding an unusually high amount of Storm Vermin. And with that, my friends, we have come to the end of our lore video. Thank you so much for watching. Might I suggest giving the video a like, as it really does help the channel out. If you'd like to keep up to date with all my postings of Let's Plays, Guides, and lore videos, may I also suggest subscribing to the channel, as it will keep you up to date with everything. And finally, if you do have a request for a specific lore video, might I suggest leaving a comment, as I do tend to take these into consideration, and I'm always happy to take a request. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Until then, adios.